Hi, I thought I'd explain a few things about these large format consoles. I get a lot of bands asking me, do I know what all the knobs do? So I thought I'd just explain a few of the basic things about it. Uh, this is an SSL 4000E, it's a 48 channel uh, console. These were built in the 80s and as you can imagine, the knobs, the buttons, they all get quite a fair amount of wear and tear. Um, things getting noisy, intermittently buggy when you push the switches. Um, things actually not doing what they're meant to do, where you boost some low end in and nothing's happening. So all those sort of things need to be taken care of, maintained as they, as we go. It's just it's ongoing. And as you can see, there's so many buttons and knobs that as you go through a session, you might come across, oh yep, that one little thing's not working. I need to make a note of that and fix it. So I'll show you some of the basics of what's behind here um, and show you that it's not too complicated. Um, once you learn one channel, you pretty much duplicate that for every one of them and yeah, it's not too hard. So I'll pull one out and show you some of the basics. Turn the power off to this bucket. And by bucket, I just mean this bank of eight. So at the top of the channel, we've got our routing system. So this is how we send the signal around the whole console. Pushing buttons in, like on here, things light up. I think this channel now has been sent to bus one, which could be either to channel one or it could be to Pro Tools one, depending on how you've got it set up. Um, so yeah, channel one to 32. Um, then there's the preamp. A lot of you have recording systems at home uh, and you might have a preamp on your interface. Then you've got the dynamic section, so compression and then an expander gate. Then you've got your EQ section, uh, filters and yeah, four band parametric EQ. Then you've got the cues and auxiliary send section. So one stereo cue and four mono. Um, this is just like bussing through Pro Tools. And the thing with these consoles is they were made so that you could replace things very easily. So I wanted to show the inside of the channel strip just to get rid of any confusion or mystery behind what's going on. Um, it's quite simple really when you break it down. So in here, this is literally our EQ card. Um, on the face of it, you've got all your controls, but then behind is just a simple, simple little cartridge that slots into this blue clip here. And that is effectively your plug-in EQ in your computer. And then here you've got your Dynamics card, which is literally just plugs into there and then you can interface it. You can use it via the controls here. These cards make it kind of easier to find faults and service. So you can literally pull it out, put a different one in, see if the problem's still there. Um, when it comes to switches and pots, it's a little harder, but you literally end up grabbing can of spray that's non-corrosive to electronics and literally putting it inside the switches and giving them a little spray and giving the contacts, giving the buttons a good pressing just to work that fluid through and it will evaporate as well after a small amount of time. 